Hello YouTube and welcome back to another team build video that I have for you guys. Today I am using um, show Pokemon Showdown and um, I'm going to be showing you a team that I have built and I have used and um, it works pretty well. I'm going to be including some other options as well and I hope it's going to be really helpful for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. This video is taking me a very long time to make because of the way that I've edited it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll just get straight into the team build. So um, I'm going to be using Showdown here and I'm going to just go into the team builder and um, I'm going to add a Pokemon and fortunately enough the first Pokemon I want to actually look at is Altaria who's on top of the list here. So we're going to go on Altaria, your ability you're going to want Cloud9 um, because Natural Cure is going to be kind of useless when you Mega Evolve which you're going to have to because you're Mono Fairy. Um, you're going to lose your ability and you're going to gain the ability Pixelate. So the best ability you can possibly have really is Cloud9 because that means you can swap in on um, the likes of Tita and Hippowdon Sandstorm, all that kind of stuff and just clear out weather conditions and then proceed to Mega Evolve. So it's actually quite useful and um, can really really like save your team as well sometimes. So item you're going to want Altaria Knight and um, let's just swap over to Mega Altaria now since I've covered the ability and as you see we're going to gain the ability Pixelate. Um, you're still going to want that Altaria Knight. We're going to get the ability Pixelate which is going to boost normal type moves 1.3 times and give them the fairy typing which is going to also give them stab. Um, if you guys don't know what stab is, um, pretty much Pokemon that are fairy type that use fairy type moves they're going to be boosted slightly because of the um, same type equivalent same with fire type using flamethrower and etc. Hidden powers actually also get stab if they're the same type as the Pokemon um, there's a little bit of trivia if you guys didn't know that so we're going to look at the Altaria's moves here and there are several ways to run Altaria I'm going to start off with um, the bulky dragon dance which is my favorite set so far uh, you're going to want to go for dragon dance obviously um, then you're going to want uh, earthquake for coverage earthquake is pretty important on this set because it's going to hit um, bisharp heatran quite a few steel types and other pokemon like fire types because fire and steel are both weak to earthquake and they both resist um, your fairy type stab, so you're going to want to put Earthquake on there for that all round coverage, and it's got a pretty high base power as well, it's got 100 base power, so it's definitely worth having there. Um, you're going to have Earthquake, you're going to want Return. Uh, return is going to be your main, main attack, it's um, 102 power when you're max uh, friendship with the Pokemon. Um, if your Pokemon is not max friendship, then I'm going to recommend Frustration over that, which is pretty much exactly the same. Um, only if you haven't spent time with your Pokemon and make it love you then the minimum happiness is going to give you 112 power instead of return which is going to be um, the maximum happiness it's quite useful to have frustration over return in a way because an awful lot of choice scarf dittos are always running max happiness so you can actually troll them a bit if they try and lock themselves into return and uh, into uh, frustration even and then realize it's not going to do much at all. Um, so you've got Dragon Dance, Earthquake, and Return. So you've pretty much got your boosting move and your two main attack moves. Your last slot is pretty much you're free to do whatever you want with this. You could um, use Agility, which again is another boosting move, which is going to make you quite susceptible to taunt because you'll have Dragon Dance and another utility move. Um, agility is going to be boosting your speed, but Dragon Dance is also going to be boosting your speed, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Cotton Guard, on the other hand, is a very, very dangerous boosting move. It boosts your defense by three stages. And if you were to have all your EV investment in special defense and HP, and you've got a Cotton Guard in, you would be very, very difficult to um, KO. And uh, you could definitely put in some work that way and be quite a defensive wall, as well as a sweeper as well. Um, but my personal favorite is going to have to be Roost, because you're able to restore your own HP. It can be very useful when you're faster because of Dragon Dance. And it's just, you know, who doesn't want to roost up, so I recommend having roost. Uh, EVs, you're going to want to be um, max HP, um, max defense, or max HP and max special defense. Either way, you're going to be pretty bulky, and um, you're going to want to be either calm or impish, because both of those, well, no, you either want to be impish or, um, is it bold for... 
Yeah, no, not bold. The one that minus his special attack. Careful. So you either want to be careful or impish to boost your special defense or defense um, without taking from your attack because your attack is going to be the other um, thing you need. You could also just go max HP, max attack um, to be relatively bulky, but um, I much prefer being max HP and max one of the defenses. Or you could just go max attack and max speed. Either is really up to you. It it just depends what kind of Volterra you're wanting to run. Um, you're going to be dragon dancing up, so you don't have to really worry about too much of your speed investment. Um, another set for Volterra is a special set where you can have Hyper Voice, um, Fire Blast is definite. Fire Blast is also viable on a physical one. Maybe you could go for a nature that doesn't take from um, attack special attack and then have a uh, fire blast for the likes of Skamori and etc but um, fire blast is obviously more vile on a special attacker I'm not really a fan of using mixed attacker Pokemon um, I much prefer having it all in special all in physical just because it will hit a lot harder but it's up to you again if you want to run mixed so you've got hyper voice fire blast you're gonna want to keep roost and um, the last move slot is really up to you but it gets quite a few good moves um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it gets Ice Beam, uh, oh no it doesn't, it gets Hidden Power Ice. No, yeah, it does get Ice Beam, I was going to say. It does get Ice Beam, which is um, quite useful, it's going to hit like grass types and stuff, but you're going to be spamming Hyper Voice anyway, so I wouldn't really worry too much about coverage. The only thing you have to worry about is that Fire Blast for the um, Heatran. You could keep Roost and then go for a Hidden Power Ground, because um, Heatran would be the only thing that would kind of wall this set. So, because it would be obviously it's going to quad resist the hyper voice and be immune to the fire blast. So hidden power ground would would be a really good way to catch things like that off guard. Um, or you could alternatively go for heal bell and roost. So you can really cleric yourself up. You can cleric your team up, especially if you're going to be max invested in bulk, which I would recommend for Altaria. Um, you're going to want to be max HP, max special defense or max defense again with a nature that takes from attack this time so nature like calm or bold and that they're going to um, really boost those attacks and everything so you're going to want to be max HP, max special defense, bold nature and put the remainders in defense or you can go the other way and put all the everything else in special defense or defense it doesn't really matter um, or you could just go kind of half and half have half in that defense half in the other defense that'll make you quite bulky all round as well um, it's really up to you just I'd make it as bulky as you can instead of trying to make it a sweeper um, it works very very well as a bulky Altaria so that is kind of th the end of the Altaria sets I can think of and um, I'm just going to go on to another Mega now who is going to be Ordino I figured I'd get all the um, Megas out of the way first so if we just look at normal Ordino, I should have probably put normal Ordino in first, um, you can see it gets amazing abilities. It gets Healer, it gets Regenerator, and it gets Klutz. Um, Regenerator is by far its best ability, allowing it to restore HP when it swaps out, but um, the only kind of annoying part of that is that it's going to lose that when it actually Mega Evolves. So you can keep, you can have a Regenerator one, but if you're going to have to Mega Evolve because you're Mono Fairy, then it really doesn't matter what ability you have, but I would still recommend having Regenerator just in case you want to swap in on something and swap out. It can be quite useful. Okay, as for um, moves um, item, you've got no choice but to have Ordinoite because that is going to Mega Evolve you. And um, let's just go on to Mega Ordino now. I love the way Mega Ordino looks, just to say, like just to put that in there. I just really love its design. I wish it was just a normal evolution and it just got the fairy typing because it's just really sweet. There's just something about it that looks really cute. And it's just like it's got those little ear kills and stuff. And the design of it is very, very nice. When I saw the design um, against Mega Slowbro's design, I was just like, I really want Ordino. And Slowbro just looked terrible. So, um... I definitely well done Nintendo for uh, or well done Game Freak for making that design because it's a very good design. So as we go into moves, I'm gonna really recommend Calm Mind, Heal Bell, Draining Kiss, and Flamethrower. This is a set that works very very well. You're gonna want to be max HP, and I'm pretty sure I'm max defense. 
and um, you're gonna want. Oh no, no, I'm not. Hold on, telling a lie. I'm max HP and I'm max special attack, and I'm modest nature, if I can find modest. So you're gonna be. Um, it hasn't got the best special attack, admittedly. It's uh, higher base stat is actually in physical attack. I know it isn't. <laughs> Never mind. I am chatting all sorts of stuff. So. It's special attack gets a boost when it's mega, but I'm pretty sure when it's normal Ordino, it's base attack is better. I'm gonna have to check that now because I don't want to seem like an idiot, but I'm pretty sure it's base attack is higher. Uh, no, they're, they're the same. So, yep, I do look like an idiot. So, we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna go max HP, max special attack, and the modest nature. If I can find it again, there we go. And uh, you're obviously gonna want the Ordino white item. And um, you have no choice but to have healer as your ability because you're gonna mega evolve. Mega evolve. It'd be kind of cool if um, hidden abilities got different mega abilities. Not necessarily better ones, but like your mega could have two separate abilities. I think that could be quite interesting. And make hidden abilities like more rare. If you can make them more difficult to find, then that could be quite rewarding. Maybe if. Um, Ordino had Regenerator as a normal Ordino, it could keep healer, but then if Ordino had Clutz, it could turn into Regenerator, so you'd have to kind of sacrifice one ability for another ability. I think that could be quite a cool concept. But um, anyway, let's put his moves back in, which was Draining Kiss, Gahar Mind, Heal Bell, and um, Flamethrower. Well, it's really up to you if you want to keep Flamethrower, um, because it does get Blizzard, it gets Ice Beam, it gets the Bolt Beam combo, which is Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, which hits, you, which hits pretty much everything, um, which is a very, very good combo to run. I quite like having Flamethrower, though, because obviously Steel-types are going to swap in on you, and you can just retaliate with a Flamethrower, and it does a lot of damage. Draining Kiss is going to be Stab, and it's going to be boosted by those Carmines and regain your HP. Um, I always like to have Heal Bell, because a lot of people will try to Toxic this, and a lot of people will try to Thunder Wave you even though you're very slow, but um, a lot of people will, and it's very good to have Heal Bell. I mean, Heal Bell has been very useful for me, especially when you're up to plus six, people are going to start trying to talk to the queue to get you to swap out, and you can just heal up, and then they start rage quitting. Um, but you can get rid of Heal Bell for Wish, or um, any other kind of move. You could have Toxic yourself. Um, there's an awful lot of moves you could have. You could also have Refresh, just to refresh yourself, but I quite like having Heal Well to swap in and heal my team. Um, you could also replace Draining Kiss with a whole variety of other special type moves. This thing gets Psy Shock. Um, it also gets Pain Split as well. That could be another thing for regaining HP. Um, it gets Thunder Wave, so you could use Thunder Wave to slow your opponents down. To because, um, like I said, Mega Ordino and Ordino are both very very slow, and Thunder Wave could be very helpful like that. Um, it gets Trick Room, which again can help with the speed problems. But these moves are the moves that I've had on mine, and I've had no problems whatsoever, and it works very well. Obviously, Heat Tram would be a problem with this move set, but this thing does get access to Surf, so you can use Surf. Gets, I don't know how it can surf, but it can apparently. It also gets Shadow Ball, just gets so many really good moves, and it can be really, really good Pokemon. Um, so I definitely recommend using it. So that's pretty much all I have for Ordino, and um, I'm just going to like go into the next Pokemon. So let's take a look at um, Azumarill next, because it's right there, and <laughs> I've probably forgotten it otherwise. So let's have a look at Azumarill now. Everyone knows of like your standard Azumarill set, which is the whole citrus berry and belly drum kind of stuff. But I'm actually going to recommend a assault vest set. Uh, I had run this set before and it actually survived a critical choice bex thunderbolt from Miss Magius and then was able to retaliate and one shot it with a knockoff. Um, so I really, really, you'd be surprised at the bulk of this set. You want to have huge power because that's going to double your attack. And as you know, attack isn't that great without huge power. So huge power definitely is what makes it a good. Pokemon, and that is definitely why it's in OU. You're going to want Aqua Jet, obviously, Stab, Priority, and the huge power boost. Any Azumarill without Aqua Jet would just be ridiculous. So, you're going to want Aqua Jet. You're going to maybe want Waterfall, if you want a more powerful Water-type move. Again, for Heatran, and any other Fire types that um, are going to be weak to your Stab. Azumarill is the only Water-Fairy type, and... Um, 
you maybe want something stronger than Aqua Jet, that's up to you. It also gets Aqua Tail, it gets um, Ice Punch as well for grass types. So it's, it's really up to you what you have as your fillers. I'm going to recommend having Ice Punch and Play Rough, obviously, because that is going to be Stab and Knock Off for coverage. And because Knock Off is just a really good all round move, even if it's not Stab. Huge power Knock Off to Knock Off a held item is very useful, especially against any Eviolite users, especially Eviolite Dust Clops. So I definitely recommend running Knock Off. You wanna gonna, you're going to want to go max HP max attack and have an adamant nature so you're as really but as powerful as you can be with huge power as well and um, you've got a lot of HP its base HP is 100 which is its best base stat and uh, max invested you can get some pretty decent HP so you know, with the assault vested vision special defense you're going to have some all round bulk which is going to be really good so that's definitely what I recommend for a zoom reel um, coverage wise you can have uh, super power over maybe knock off or ice punch or waterfall. You could also have power up punch because that would boost your attack a little bit and could be quite useful but it's kind of risky because the zoom real speed is not very good so it's kind of up to you again with what you want to have a play around with, what fits the fairy team that you're building the best or maybe not. you're not building a fairy team but um, that's what I would definitely recommend. So we're going to move on to the next Pokemon, who is going to be another OU, and is going to be Sylveon. Sylveon is definitely one of my favourite Pokemon in my team. Um, I haven't tried many sets with it, uh, but this Choice Specs set is definitely the best one that I've um, used, because it's the only one that I've used, but I, it's so good I don't think I'd want to change it. So we're going to have two Choice Specs. You're going to want Pixelate as an ability. That's what makes this Pokemon so OP. You're going to want to run Hyper Voice, which is going to be dramatically boosted by that pixelate ability 1.3 times it's already based 90 power and it's going to become a fairy type move and get stab so it's going to be very very powerful um so you're going to want to have hyper voice there you are going to want to be psy shock because um the likes of tentacruel would otherwise wall this move set um unless you ran hidden power ground but i recommend running hidden power um fire for hitting like scissor and scamori and stuff um, and Ferrothorn, but if you're going to be using a monofray type team and you have like a Togekiss with Flamethrower or a Mega Ordino with Flamethrower or um, like Altaria with Fire Blast then you're not going to really need Hidden Power Fire and perhaps Hidden Power Ground would be a better option you just kind of have to tweak around um, depending on the rest of the team um, I have Hidden Power Fire on mine um, but I am actually thinking of swapping out for Ground because Ground would be more useful but then again I have put an Altaria in with Earthquake now so kind of it really just depends on what you really want to put in your last move is going to be um, shadow wall because it's pretty much one of the only other moves that Sylveon learns the evolutions have a terrible kind of lack of moves really um, it just doesn't get much at all if you look at it you get Psy Shock, Moonblast Psy Shock we've already got Moonblast you don't need Thousand Gleam hidden power it literally just doesn't get anything they could do with a lot better move pulls really um so your last one's just gonna be shadow wall maybe to hit Asia slash instead of a hidden power ground or fire would be better um so it, it would have its bonuses i'm guessing so uh shadow ball could be useful there um as stat wise you're just going to want to max out your hp max out your special attack um give yourself um and maybe a modest nature to max out that special attack even further so you're going to be very very powerful choice specs in as well choice specs is going to give you a 1.5 times boost to your special attack so you're going to be hitting very very hard with that hyper voice mainly psy shock is also going to be hitting hard and it's going to hit for physical damage which is a very very good move to have and uh, again it's going to hit those poison types that might not be expecting you to have psy shock so um, that is definitely the set for Sylveon that I'd recommend. I haven't really tried any other sets, so I couldn't really give any others. I know it can be quite good. Bulky with Leftovers, Wish, um, Calm Mind maybe, Draining Kiss, um, all that kind of stuff. It gets Heal Bell, which can make it a Cleric, but there's a lot of Fairy types that get Heal Bell. Um, so you can really like just change up and depending on what kind of team you're doing. So that is pretty much everything I've got for Sylveon. Okay, so that is the end of Sylveon. Um, next Pokemon we can look at is going to be um, Klefki. 
if I can spell, <laughs> if I can still spell, uh, clef key. Oh, I didn't know clef key was borderline. So anyway, the next book I'm going to be looking at is going to be clef key. Um, there's two sets that I have with clef key. Both of them work very well. Um, the first one I'd recommend is your kind of standard um, a light clay dual screen. So you're going to want reflect, um, light screen. Uh, Thunder Wave is um, always useful to slow your opponent down, and I would say Spikes for the last one because you can just set up some Spikes just before you die to get a little bit of residual damage, or uh, maybe stall a turn with Defog or something against your opponent, so uh, that's kind of the set I would run. I'd make it physically defensive because um, you can have Light Screen and Reflect anyway, so it doesn't really matter what your defences are, but um, it's got better special defence and it has physical defence, so it makes sure to kind of makes sense to max out the uh, defense instead of the special defense. Um, I don't know, it's got better defense than special defense, so it makes sense to max out your defense. Um, so I'd recommend doing that. You can always set up a light screen first turn if you're against a special attacker or whatever anyway. So um, that is a really simple set. Prankster, obviously, you'll need Prankster. Light Clay is going to boost the... Um, turns of the reflect from 5 turns to 8 turns which can make a huge difference your frailer pokemon are going to be able to take a couple of hits more um, so it can really like make or break a game having screens up it's like a 50% I'm pretty sure it's 50% yeah it's half so 50, it's like a 50% boost or 50% reduction on the damage that your team is going to take so it's definitely worth having um, another set for Clef Key that I've been playing around with that's very, very fun to play with is a Citrus Berry Prankster um, Clef Key. You're still going to want Thunder Wave, but everything else is going to change. You're going to want Draining Kiss. You're going to want Calm Mind because you're going to get a Prankster Calm Mind to boost your special attack and special defense. Thunder Wave, you're going to use to slow down faster Pokemon so you're able to get a Draining Kiss off after you've got some Calm Mind boosts. And your last one is going to be what makes the set, which is Recycle. Recycle, in case you didn't know, is going to reuse the item that you previously lost. So when you eat your berry, you can recycle it back. However, if someone thieves your item or knocks it off before you can eat it, you actually can't recycle it back, which really, really stinks sometimes. Um, so it's best to just try and set up as many calm minds as you can to offer so if someone kills, well, not kills you, but takes you to your berry so your berry can pop and then you can um, rely on recycle as well as drain and kiss. So you're pretty much always in really good health when using this. Um, obviously you're going to be walled by quite a few Pokemon, like poison types and steel types, but it's quite gimmicky and really fun. Um, this set, when you're running this, you're going to want to max your physical defense and max your HP again because you're going to be boosting your special defense with Calm Minds anyway, so you might want to make yourself try and take a hit as best as you can on the physical side because you'll be very difficult to um, touch on the special defense side once you get all these boosts in. So that is a really, really fun Clef Key set and I hope you guys can actually try and test this out because it is um, pretty gimmicky and quite fun to use. Um, obviously you can get rid of Draining Kiss for maybe um, Flash Cannon or something, or Dazzling Gleam or a stronger kind of fairy move, but I just kind of like Draining Kiss because you get more HP back, although it doesn't have a lot of PP, which is kind of annoying. Um, so that's Clef Key pretty much done and out of the way. Um, next Pokemon that I can definitely recommend is going to be Slurpuff. Uh, the slip of set that I'm going to say using, obviously, is you're going to need um, your Citrus Berry for the Unburden. You're going to want the ability unburden, you're going to want to have Calm Mind, which some of you might find strange, but trust me, it works really, really well. You're going to want Calm Mind, you're going to want Draining Kiss, you're going to want Flamethrower, and you are going to want Surf. Um, Flamethrower and Surf are obviously going to hit um, Steel types and Heatran, super effective, and Draining Kiss is going to restore your health. And Draining Kiss actually does an awful lot of damage once you've got some Calm Minds up. If you max out your special attack, which has got a slightly higher base than your physical attack and you make yourself modest um, you're actually going to have a pretty decent attack and if you max out your speed then you're going to be pretty speedy as well you don't have to worry about being timid obviously because you've got that unburden you're going to outspeed almost everything anyway when you're double speed so um, concentrate all of your EVs and your nature in special attack so your aim of this is to just swap in, go for a calm mind, get to your berry, get your unburden and then just like annihilate teams. I've destroyed teams with this thing. It's so, so powerful. Special Slurpuff is really, really good and cannot be will-o-wisped, etc. like that. So it's just 
it's very very good I definitely recommend using it um, obviously you can do your standard physical set with belly drum drain punch uh, play rough and return or something but um, I really would recommend doing special special is so much better and I really really enjoy using it but if you want a physical um, fairy type Pokemon because there aren't that many then you're free to just do your standard physical set but um, I personally really enjoy using special because never want, never does anyone ever expect a special slurp off so um, that is all I've got for slurp off and um, next Pokemon we're going to be looking at is going to be Florges uh, Flores is going to be the last Pokemon that I'm going to do um, except for Togekiss after this because I feel like this video is getting very very long um, Florgrass you're going to pretty much want to put lefties on it it's a shame it can't run Assault Vest better because um, it doesn't get that many good kind of moves but lefties is good your ability doesn't matter if you're using single battles maybe it does a bit more in doubles but I don't really play doubles so it doesn't matter what ability it is um, you're going to want Calm Mind, Moonblast um, synthesis and what was the last move? Aromatherapy. So you can um, max your HP or you can max your defense to try and make yourself take defensive hits better. I or um, the one that I ran was max HP and max special attack, and I'm pretty sure I was modest as well. Um, I pulled a sweep with this set. Only I had Wish instead of Synthesis at the time, and it worked very, very well. Um, you could also go Max HP, Max Special Defense, and make yourself a Special Defense Wall. Um, you can use Calm Nature to boost your Special Defense. And you could have um, Aromatherapy, Synthesis, you could have Wish to Wish Pass on to your teammates. And you could have um, Toxic. However, this kind of set is going to be like very very you're going to get taunted really easily so instead of toxic it could be better on the safe side to just run moonblast anyway because it's still going to hit pretty hard and has the um, secondary effect to lower the special attack stage which can be useful um, so that's going to heal up your team you can use, you can just swap in to take eight special hits and then wish pass into the, your other teammates that can work really really well it can max out that bulk and everything so um, that can definitely work, although I haven't really used it much. Um, I kind of took Flogras out and replaced it with a Togekiss. So um, I'm going to go on to Togekiss next. And this is definitely going to be my last one because I do not want to like bore you guys with this video. So Togekiss can be run three different ways. Uh, there's three different ways that I run Togekiss and I like all of them and it's really difficult to pick. Um, the first one I'm going to say is going to be Choice Scarf. Um, you're going to want to be Choice Scarf and Serene Grace. You're going to want to run Air Slash. Obviously, you can get those flinch hacks going because Air Slash has a 30% chance to flinch. Your Serene Grace, um, the moves that have secondary effects like flinching, the chance is doubled, so you're going to have a 60% chance to flinch instead of that. And your Choice Scarf is going to mean that you're going to outspeed. Um, your other, you're going to want Aurosphere as another move because Aurosphere is going to be hitting pretty hard. I recommend Flamethrower as well and then Dazzling Gleam to finish it off as Dazzling Gleam is going to be stabbed too. Um, you can go Special Scarf, Max Special Attack, Max Speed and Timid. However, mine's actually Max Speed and Modest because I just wanted that extra special attack and I figured Choice Scarf was going to be pretty fast anyway. So um, it's really, really up to you whether you want to go Timid or Modest. I always thought it was quite odd to scarf something that had a speed boosting nature instead of scarfing something that had better special attack and specsing something that had better speed. So it's really up to you. If you want it to be very, very fast, then you can go timid and scarf as well. Um, next kind of set that I had was a leftovers kind of bulky. Uh, you still want Serene Gage, so you're going to still want Air Slasher. Air Slasher? Air Slash. Um, but you're going to want Nasty Plot which is going to boost your special attack. You're going to want Roost and Dazzling Gleam, so that's going to keep your two main stabs. But you could swap them out for Aura Sphere or something, depending on what you wanted. If you're a whole mono fairy, maybe you don't want Dazzling Gleam um, and all that kind of stuff. So you're going to want to go max... Well, you could keep max special attack, max speed for this set if you wanted, but I recommend having um, max HP and maybe max defense. Um, 
or because your defense isn't as good as your special defense, so you can make yourself all round pretty bulky and then have a nature that boosts um, your defense. So you can have, I think it's impish, is it that I'm looking for? Is it bold? Yeah, bold. Um, plus defense minus attack, which is going to keep you very, very bulky. And um, you're going to be able to roost up nasty plot air slash as in gleam and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which is going to be boosting your special attack and make you pretty um, hard hitting. You could get rid of Dazzling Gleam and go for a Thunder Wave, which would slow your opponents down, giving you a chance to roost up and get more nasty plots in, and then flinch them with Air Slash as well, because you'd be having Serene Grace. But then you're going to miss out on all that coverage. Um, but this set could work well with just Air Slash. There's not a lot that resists flying types anyway, and with all those flinches, it could certainly pay off. Um, but the other set that is another bulky set is going to be your Thunder Wave Roost Air Slash set. Um, you can also run Defog, um, but Defog is a transfer move, which is the only problem. So you can run Air Slash, Roost, and Heal Bell instead of Defog to heal up the rest of your team. Again, it really depends on what you want from um, your Togekiss and how the rest of your team is as to what kind of set you want. But that is going to be the end of um, the Togekiss and the end of this video because it's going to be incredibly long. Um, I may have to cut bits out and I'm pretty sure I've missed a couple of Pokemon out. But um, those are some of the main fairy types that are good for a team and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So yeah, if you're not already liked and subscribed then please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comments below telling me what team you would like to see me do a build for next. I was going to do Mono Fire, but if you guys want to see something more than that then uh, let me know and I will get on it straight away. I hope you guys have a nice day and I will see you around. Goodbye!